Welcome everyone. Today we'll learn how we can program and make use of the real-time clock on the ESP32 controller to keep accurate time. There are many embedded applications and projects we can think of that require accurate timekeeping. Timers to turn lights and other appliances on or off, allowing access to facilities or equipment during certain days and or times of the week, and, and so on. The problem with setting up an isolated standalone device with a manually programmed date and time is how much error creeps in over a period of weeks. You've noticed this if you've ever set a standard clock or watch. The built-in oscillator that's used by the clock is not perfect. The frequency drifts from the ideal over time, and you'll notice over a period of weeks or months that the time can get significantly out of sync with reality. Having a controller like an ESP32 that has Wi-Fi connectivity built in gives us a path through the internet to maintain accurate time. We're going to look at how to program an ESP32 to get time from an NTP server. The network time protocol is a means of sending time over the internet and can be used to set a clock with an accuracy within several milliseconds of the official um, coordinated universal time. Your personal computer, phone, and many other interconnected uh, devices will typically use an NTP server to periodically update its clock and provide you with accurate time. An NTP server provides access to time from high-precision timekeeping devices like atomic clocks, uh, GPS, or other synchronized clocks. By connecting to an NTP server, which is freely and openly available to use, we can maintain very accurate time for our own projects. So in this video, we'll program an ESP32 controller to request a timestamp from an NTP server, and we'll use the response to program the real-time clock on the controller itself. That internal clock will do a decent job of maintaining the time over uh, reasonable periods, but it's subject to the effects of drift of the crystal oscillator. And so in a practical application, we would periodically update the clock from an NTP server to bring it back to reality. Let's have a look at the C code we'll program the ESP32 with using the Arduino IDE. I've created other videos outlining how to set up the IDE for ESP32 boards, and you can review those if you need to. I will include the code as part of a link in the description below, so you can use it as a reference for your own project. In this code example, we'll use the serial interface to command the ESP32 to make an NTP time request and report the current time. First thing is the header files. We have Wi-Fi.h, which is the usual for ESP32 to access Wi-Fi and is required for this example. Next we have time.h, which is the ESP32 native time library that will handle NTP server connectivity and synchronization with the controller's real-time clock. Next, we set up our local Wi-Fi network name and password as usual. Now to the good stuff. We will define the NTP server we'll be using to synchronize the time in the NTP server constant definition. I've decided to use the Google public NTP server as I trust it's accurate and it will not be going away anytime soon. We'll now define the GMT offset, which is used to adjust the NTP response to your local time zone. In my case, I'm on Eastern time, and so adjust accordingly. So that's five hours behind Greenwich Mean Time, or negative 18,000 seconds. And then we specify Daylight Offset. This is used whenever uh, or wherever daylight savings time applies. Typically, this will be one hour or 3,600 seconds. Next, we go to the standard setup function, where we initialize the serial interface and Wi-Fi as usual. And we'll include a couple of print commands to provide instructions on usage over the serial monitor or terminal. Now for the main loop. We have code that will wait for serial into input to be presented to the ESP32. If we get an update command, the controller will issue a request to the NTP server and update its internal clock accordingly, 
before printing the time. We will also just print the time when the controller gets a time command over the serial interface. Now let's actually try this out on the ESP32 board. So let's compile the code first on Arduino IDE and check for errors before we upload the code to the board. This will just take a couple of moments. Now let's test it out through the serial monitor. I'll type update and wait for a response. which we get along with the updated time. And I can confirm this corresponds to my local time. Remember, this is the time received from the Google NTP server used to update the ESP32 internal clock. Now I'll just type time to get the time from the ESP32 real-time clock to confirm it's uh, keeping its own time. And I think I'll try that again. And it, it looks like everything is working just fine. So that was another successful experiment, and we now have a way to synchronize our ESP32 board clocks uh, very accurately for a wide range of applications. That's it for today. Please do subscribe to the channel if you found this interesting. I really do appreciate it. Until next time, have fun tinkering.